Now in 2008, 2009, my mom ends up getting this office space for her real estate. She lets me get a small little room that they have for me to do my business, which I started kind of doing my own film business. Didn't even really have clients. I was trying to get clients and just do things for free or super cheap to kind of build a base for my film work. But that also ended up kind of becoming my music studio. I started getting a little bit better at making beats, but it still wasn't great. But I thought, I know what I'm doing. I, I got some dope gear. I'm making some bangers. I started thinking I could sell my beats for like 500 bucks. And I remember some dude who was a friend of one of my mom's associates came and he kind of made music and he came and check out some beats. And when I said that, him and his boy like laughed. But it was pretty delusional of me to think that I could charge 500 bucks with no real experience and trash beats. But to continue on my delusion, I thought, I got a dope music studio. I could start renting out my music studio and charging people to come and record here and I'll mix their music. One of my clients ended up being Shane Dawson, the super famous YouTuber at the time. He was like one of the first YouTube channels to hit 2 million subscribers. I actually got connected with Shane Dawson through someone who became a new friend of mine at that time frame named Jared who goes by the artist name Upwards. Now on MySpace, I was constantly promoting myself. When I finally started kind of getting the hang of making beats, I started doing hip hop remixes of some of my favorite TV theme songs. So I made a hip hop remix of the X-Files theme and then also the Dexter theme. I didn't have any mutual friends with Upwards. Somehow he came across my MySpace and came across my Dexter track and he loved that show as well. So he sent me a message and was like, yo man, that beat is dope we should work together. So then me and Upward started making music together and he was also a big underground hip hop fan. So we had great chemistry, started creating a lot of music and then he introduced me to his brother, Shane Dawson. This was a huge deal to have him come and record a song that he was making a parody of. I mixed it. I really didn't know what the hell I was doing and honestly, like I did not mix it. Now knowing what mixing is, I didn't mix it at all. I just adjusted some levels and made it sound okay with some very basic plugins, but he was happy with it, especially because at that time he didn't really know anything about music. So I was like, oh, cool. Like he's happy with it. He even tweeted me saying that I killed it. Twitter was really new, but he had such a following on YouTube that when he tweeted it, I ended up getting like hundreds of followers instantly just because of his tweet. 